guys. Sorry I've been AWOL for like the past week or so. Um, I've been doing other stuff. And I got really busy because um, my aunt was here. And um, so I was spending a lot of time with my family and stuff. Um, this isn't a huge update. Um, Zoom's gone to church. And... Um, He's done pretty well. He had a week where he was like super, super squirmy, but I blame a lot of that on he hasn't been getting walked as much. Um, and this is something me and my mom were constantly butting our heads about even before I got him. And I'm sure it will be an issue when I get my next dog um, that she's like, well, she's not complaining that I don't walk him enough, but he lets me know when I don't walk him enough because he's not as on point when I don't walk him enough. Um, the other thing that happened was um, he um, got sick in the morning last week and I had to replace his dog bed because it stank really bad and I was going to have mom wash it. And she's like, I'm not touching that. It stinks really bad. And um, so she just ordered a new dog bed, which fits way better in his crate. And it was just better. Um, it's just a better fit. He really likes it. Um, if I could swing the camera around, I'd show you guys. Um, but I'm not taking it out of the holder just to show you guys the dog bed. But he looks really comfy. Um, so he, he's been doing really good. Um, we're just adjusting to the change in the weather. Um, and my system changes a little bit in the winter because I can't walk him out on the leash as much. Um, I, I usually run him out on his line when the weather's bad or when the weather's, when we're in like a deep freeze situation. Um, mom will come and take him out because she doesn't want me going out in single digits. Um, just because it's not really safe for me. Um, so, um, that's what, um, I usually do now. That, however, is not, uh, why I picked up the camera. Um, I'm just going to mention a few of the weird things Zoom does. Um, they're just his little quirks. Um, and all dogs have their quirks. Um, the thing about this dog is he sleeps. He doesn't necessarily sleep how you think a dog sleeps. He does have sleep like a normal dog where he'll sleep on his side or he'll sleep curled up nose to tail. That's usually how most dogs will sleep in one way or the other, or they sleep on their back for a little bit, which he does do. I called his... Um, pretzel pose because he has his feet completely up in the air and all over the place and it just doesn't look comfortable um, but it's so funny because he'll sleep on his side with his legs tucked up completely tucked up with his front legs around his back legs which I have never seen a dog in that position um, and it really kind of threw me off when he slept like that the first time when he crashed when we were bringing him home because he doesn't sleep like a normal uh, dog normally sleeps half the time and he'll sleep um, and he'll sleep curled up like that completely curled up like how someone sleeps curled up on their side with their arms tucked around their um, legs which I kind of sleep like that. So, I mean, I'd expect a person to sleep like that. And even a cat, maybe, if they sleep like that. But even cats will sleep curled up nose to tail and they're fine. And, um, and it's just, he, he sleeps in some of the weirdest positions I've ever seen a dog sleep in. But he'll tuck his, his feet, like, you, you tuck around your um, arms and legs as a person, which is really weird. Um, 
So I've never seen a dog sleep like that. That really threw me um, when he w when he fell asleep in the car on the way home. And I was like, this dog is so weird. So, um, but, and he like, and he's like a cat. He has these, if you've seen um, my shots of him when I have the camera actually on him when he's working, he has these really long whiskers for a dog. Usually you have a dog that has long whiskers on one part of their face, either their eyebrow whiskers, they'll have some long whiskers up here, and they'll have maybe a few. But he has the longest whiskers of any dog I've seen. That doesn't really um, confuse me when you have a cat with the whiskers that long because people expect cats to have long whiskers. And, um, and he uses his whiskers how a cat will use their whiskers, which is to um, figure out their space because he does not go through a place that his head won't fit through, which is what cats do to gauge space. And um, like, if my door's kind of ajar and I tell him to go through, he will not go through unless he knows he has space to get through there. Um, and he had an annoying habit of getting into the closet when he was younger, because he could fit in there before he filled out a little bit more. He can still fit in there and I still don't know how he gets into the closet and will pull stuff out. But he's been better about that. Watch what I have um, out. Because if he gets bored, he does grab stuff. Um, but it, it's just kind of weird. He just has a, a lot of quirks that are very cat-like. Um, and I, that's not, he's not of a breed that I would consider to have cat-like quirks because there are a few rarer breeds that have cat-like quirks. Not very common, but I have never had a dog of this breed um, that acts the way he does, which is just kind of weird. Um, and since I don't have any training updates for you guys that are kind of worth pulling the camera out for, um, I gave you a little um, life update and some weird facts about Zoom. I'd have a, I thought I had a picture of him sleeping like that. Um, I'd have to go back on my computer and see if I actually took a picture. I know I put one up on Instagram, but um, if, it, if it's still on my Instagram, my Instagram's in the banner. Um, it's also in the links um, on my page. So if you wanna see if you can find that picture, um, check it out. Um, cause I do have a picture. I, I pretty sure I have a picture somewhere of him all curled up. I don't think I have him, a picture of him curled up how I was describing with him, his legs, all his legs tucked around. Um, but I have a picture of him. I'm pretty sure I have a picture on my Instagram somewhere of him curled up like that. Um, because he sleeps in about four different positions, but it's like, it was just kind of weird. Um, and so until I can actually get um, like a training update for you guys of what I'm gonna be doing, um, I would really, really like to be able to run a video of me actually running him out on a public access run, but it's really hard to run the headset and have my phone loosey goosey for while I'm running around. It's just really awkward. For running out of the house while I'm training, that's fine because I'm actually not that far from my house and it's not, I my training sessions are maybe 10 to 20 minutes. To do this for, an, to do a run for an hour is gonna be a pain. So, um, I probably won't have a lot of updates in the next few months because we're going into the holidays and I have other stuff. I might do like a Christmas haul for stuff for him and what I'm gonna be doing with him. Um, like uh, stuff I'm gonna start doing in the next few months. 
and he needs to go to the vet <laughs> uh, in January. Um, and I need to replace his rabies tag, which if you heard the um, hoopla over me losing his tags, the videos, um, the videos on the channel. So check that out too. Um, I might actually put that one up in the cards. Um, so that's something I have to fix. Uh, for next year to get his new tag and um, stuff like that and this video is already getting longer than I want because I'm rambling and I'm going to cut this down a little bit um, and get this uploaded for tomorrow um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.